Just hit me with those brown eyes Wanna take a ride, wanna roll the dice I'm not just another one of the nice guys As of late, there has been a lot more young women online becoming vocal about the dangers of going back to relaxers. In fact, some are discouraging it altogether. While some women agreed with this TikTok post, some disagreed, believing that the cause of her breakage had more to do with her hair care routine rather than the relaxer itself. Some even shared testimonies stating things like, relaxers help my hair to grow even longer. Despite the growing number of relaxer horror stories, it doesn't seem to be discouraging women from going back to relaxers. Women of all ages are going back to relaxers and they are loving it with no regrets. What do you think about the ongoing relaxer debate and the movement back to relaxers? Do you think that the relaxers can work long term and this trend is here to stay? Or do you believe that this trend is temporary and women will end up chopping or transitioning later on down the road? Along with relaxers, there has been an ongoing conversation about the rising cost of professional hair care services. A stylist recently asked the question on whether stylists should charge thick hair fees. Should women be charged for extra length and thickness? Or do you believe that women with longer hair should seek hair independence by learning how to style their own hair instead of going to the salon? Speaking of hair independence, a young lady on TikTok by the name of The Rachel Hodge teaches a unique way to hide her twists within her hair. Just hit me with those brown eyes. Wanna take a ride, wanna roll the have you heard or tried of this technique? Let me know down below. While some women on TikTok are sharing hairstyle techniques, others are sharing hair care humor. Here are some TikToks that really made my day. Remember, the Lord is watching you. These videos always remind me that we should live a little and have fun with our hair care. Talking about hair should be enjoyable and entertaining. Since we are on the topic of entertainment, I would just like to talk a little bit about the rapper Lotto's hair. I came across a video of her preparing for a photo shoot. For the photo shoot, she was wearing her hair in its natural state. What I particularly noticed was the use of a curling iron while her hair was in its naturally curly state. Often, a lot of curly hair campaigns will use this curly iron technique to make perfect curls to sell their products. Remember this anytime you feel as though you don't have the perfect curls because at the end of the day even the hair models will still have their hair tweaked and edited for the sake of selling a product. If it wasn't for social media many people would not know what's going on in the hair care world of the rich and the famous. Maybe this is encouraging the sharing of hair care within others as well. Here is a video featuring a wig stylist for Orthodox Jewish women. Hey, my name is Tali and I'm a wig stylist for Orthodox Jewish women. In Judaism, a woman covers her hair because once she marries, her hair becomes private for her husband. These are all 100% human hair wigs. A wig in this salon ranges anywhere from, I would say, 800 to like 3,000, based off length and sometimes based off color. A wig should last, I would say if you take care of it, I would give it a good five years. 
In terms of covering your hair, it's not about if they know if it's a wig or not. The only important factor here is that you know you are covering your hair. It's such a shock sometimes for people to see religious people that are also, you know, somebody fashionable. And so I think it's important for people to realize just like that there's so much more to people than what meets the eye. It is interesting to see that more and more women from different backgrounds are becoming more open to sharing hair information. In fact, it's thanks to the internet that black women are sounding the alarm. Beware of tape-in extensions. Many black women across all social media platforms have been sharing bad experiences as it pertains to tape-ins. From bad install services to issues with blending when they are later on back at home, they are sharing it all. You're a black girl who's thinking about getting tape-ins because you saw how cute they were on TikTok, child. You may have even seen my video. I need y'all to watch this first because these are the things that the girls are not trying to show you. They are not trying to show you how your hair is gonna look crazy when you got these tape-ins in <laughs> if you have like 4A, 4B, 4C hair, which I do. My hair is like 4B, 4C and it has been like like 100 degrees the last two days in Chicago and just hot in general the last like two weeks and my hair has been in shambles if you look at the video on my page and when I got the tapings done they were gorgeous honey like you could not tell me anything and they look good the next day too but after that like literally my hair sweated out and I don't have heat trained hair so when I tell you that my roots are like literally in bunches right now honestly this is how my hair looks right now you can very clearly like see up close that like there's this hair and then there's my hair now if I brush it child then it'll blend in a little bit and you can also see where the actual tape in is reverting back to its original curl pattern because of how hot it is child, I'm sweating now because it's it's freaking almost one in the morning and it's still 100 degrees okay this is craziness but if I brush it down then it's giving it's my hair this is one of the main reasons why I decided to go ahead and get some kinky straight tape-ins I was wanting to get some kinky curly tape-ins but I had to be honest with myself my hair texture does not match that and I wasn't even finna sit here and bamboozle hoodwink and hijink myself if that's even a word child because I already knew like that was gonna be too much and my assumptions were correct because it has been so hot like I love the fact like look at that right now even though my hair looks crazy it looks like my hair now just put it in a bun a messy bun which is one of the styles I've been doing and that looks like my bun that's one of the styles now I have blow dried my hair one time and tried to flat iron it but it lasted for like two hours so I'm like I'm not even gonna do that it's just too hot now the other style I have been doing is putting my hair in a ponytail like this and taking one of the pieces of hair and wrapping it around and then just trying to like make sure all this looks good and that is a ponytail. I might add some curls at the bottom of it, but it's so hot the curls will fall out. Now, honestly, I can't get my hair to be flatter, which I want it to be, because when I tell you my roots are literally in knots, they literally are. And I'm not even about to bother myself to go in there and try to like flat iron them out, none of that. Literally. Now, I still recommend y'all get some tape-ins. I love them. They're an easy way to get some length. And I like the fact that when I lay down, I can't even feel that these tapings are in my hair, honestly. And it didn't take that long to do. And it's not extremely hot. It's just too hot for that. But I want you girls to know what the real deal is, what the full tea is, if you do decide to get these tapings and you live in a climate that's hot and you do not have heat trained hair. This is what you're gonna be looking like. It's giving my hair, but still. If you remember me looking crazy in this video and then subsequently this video, you know that I had tape-ins and as a natural hair girl, uh, they wasn't working the best. So <laughs> I'm going back to the salon today to get them taken out. A hairstylist also warns about the rise in these new hair trends that require a lot of leave out. So it's a few hair trends that y'all need to just move on from. First is tape-in extensions. Now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Somebody gotta say it, might as well be me. Taping extensions are for white people. If not white people, then they are for people who have very like straight hair textures. They are not for textured, unrelaxed hair. Microlink eye tips, same thing. These two trends that have taken the internet streets by storm and got y'all running to any and everybody who say they do these things are causing y'all extreme breakage. 
and damaged hair. Now, am I totally against these trends? No, but I do suggest that you go to a licensed, trained professional. Everything that looks good online may not be good for you. You have to figure out what works for you. Stop jumping on every trend that come on your timeline. A lot of this stuff is not for you. Go to a stylist who gonna keep it real with you and not just take your money. If there is a warning that I can give girls that wear extensions, it's this. Do not ever wear tape-in extensions for a long period of time. If you're gonna do tape-in extensions and it's like maybe for a month, two months, you know, nothing extending past that time, fine. But if you're doing it for any longer than that, your hair will break and it will mess up. I learned that the hard way. This is my hair right now. After two years of not wearing tape-in extensions, I wore tape-ins for a year and a half maybe two years and my hair never grew past here the tapins were barely just hanging on to the little pieces of hair that i had and i could not understand for the life of me why my hair would not grow it was traumatizing it was awful it was painful for me to think that there was something wrong with my hair and Unfortunately, professionals told me that tapins were fine and they had nothing to do with my hair not growing. Well, once COVID hit and hair salons closed, I started buying clip-ins. Take put them in during the day, take them out at night, and lo and behold, within 6 months, I started to see hair growth. So, Guys, please, please, please listen to me. Do not wear those tape-ins for too long. You will definitely be saving yourself from a lot of heartache because your hair has been breaking or because it's falling off. Although there has been a rise of women warning against these forms of extensions, there are still some women who are loving having full hair out extensions. I tried Microlinks tape-ins and now I'm on iTips and this is hands down my favorite hair extension style. The microlinks didn't work for me because it didn't give me the thickness that I like. Um, the tape ins were cute, but my hair grows really fast. So the tapes like start showing and I don't like that. Um, this gives me the best of both worlds, the versatility and the thickness. I just love it. I believe I mentioned this before, but these trends are not natural. This tape and extension trend has been created by companies and corporations. Make sure to check out my video about the hair care shortage. It also touches on this topic. Also, tape-ins, eye-tips, and other extension install methods are still largely uncharted waters for a lot of black women and black hairstylists. So please move with caution and do your research. There is a luxury hair extension brand owner that I mentioned previously who had given very good advice concerning these types of installs. So feel free to check out that video. She's somewhere in the middle of the video. Last but not least, I would love to leave you guys with a bit of interesting information. The true, oh. Um. I have no words. It says a lot about how TikTok is created, how it's structured. Then again, they do have liking farms, allegedly, that push people's videos into the algorithm as long as you pay the price. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time on Dynamic Touch. Girl, that's my ride or die.